Welcome to Roger Adventures. In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this style of rock as the Starry Night, the same style uh, done by Vincent Van Gogh. He's a really good and famous painter. So I started by doing the base drawing with the pencil. Then I proceeded to do the background. I'm gonna leave all the paints and tools that I use on the description of this video down below if you are interested on in knowing which ones I use. But I will let you know that I use acrylic paints and I use a sealer that is uh, resin to uh, part base and is used 50-50. I get a lot of questions on how I get my rocks so shiny. But again, I'm gonna leave the description of the resin that I use on the description of this video. So I use different colors, different shades. I use my palette to mix the colors, but the base was uh, purple. But the idea is just to basically mix the colors, make it dark because it's the uh, Halloween theme. And I also did the same style of painting of the Starry Night on Christmas. I'm gonna leave it up here on the right upper corner, the description of the video that I used, that I painted for Christmas. Let me know if you like the painting and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of my videos. Also, if you have any suggestions or questions, you can leave them down on the description below. You can follow me also on Facebook or Instagram. You can ask me questions on those uh, social medias as well. Well, going back to the rock, I was just painting different colors here and there. The black cat and the pumpkin. I used the orange and then mixture of red and yellow to make the color darker or lighter. But the idea is the, you know, it's a basic idea. You can use the colors that you want. Let's say if you want to make it lighter, then you use lighter colors. So you can actually see the cat sitting on the pumpkin better. You can do different moons or different colors on the moons. But it's really, really simple. It's just that it takes a while to, to paint the background because all of the different colors and the figure that it has the classic Starry Night painting. One of my goal is to inspire you to start painting rocks. You don't have to paint rocks, you can do it on tiles or, or you, you can even make your own uh, styles of rock. I know they sell some molds uh, for making rocks or making, uh, for example, hearts. I have a mold that I I did a rock on, on a heart and I just uh, love to share my paintings. Let me know what you think. I know these paintings are not realistic. This is just something that I do as a part of my hobbies and I relax a lot when I paint the rocks. I just let my imagination and I see, I get an idea from different uh, pictures or, or uh, yeah, different pictures that I look on online and I get an idea, I put it together. Sometimes I put a little bit of this uh, painting or a little bit of another photograph. For example, the cat that I did last, it was actually from my three-dimensional uh, painting or a drawing, I don't know what it was, but it, it was uh, animated. But that's how I did my last uh, rock, which uh, I loved the outcome of that rock. 
So at the bottom of the pumpkins, I just painted some green leaves uh, because these pumpkins, they are uh, still on the field. So they have not been uh, cut out yet. What I usually do with my rocks, I go to different hikes here in uh, LA County in Los Angeles and I just leave them for people to find them and you know they can enjoy the rocks and just if they want to keep it then they can keep it or they can rehide it and I actually belong to different groups on Facebook groups to share the rocks and uh, they they paint the rocks and they leave them for people to find them and just collect them so we are at the end of the video i hope you like this video if you did give me a thumbs up and i hope i'll get your subscription and i will see you on my next video have a great day